This is a group of stories that took place when I was a child, not all of those happened to me personally but they all happened in the same place. These all took place in a church in Chickup, Massachusetts. I won't say which one for privacy, but the church was built in 1867, so it's old. There was always a strange feeling about the place, could never put quite put my finger on it, but something was always off. The first incident I can recall was when I was using the restroom near the front door. A friend of mine was waiting to use the restroom after me, when he suddenly said the door out here keeps opening by itself I went to say that's impossible when I heard my name whispered in the restroom right next to me. I hurried to finish and stepped outside to make sure someone wasn't pulling a prank on us, and there was nobody. I closed the door and made sure it latched. Then turned to my friend and said there's no one out there man we turned to go back into the sanctuary and the door swung open violently. I took off, not even stopping to make sure my friend was with me. This was by no means a rare occurrence. This sort of thing would continue to happen with a door directly connected to the sanctuary. My pastor used to joke that's either God coming in or the devil going out he was obviously trying to make light of it but it creeped us all out. Another thing that was common was the fire alarm being pulled. This happened a number of times and every time the fire department would come, they would find nothing wrong with the system and no fingerprints on the pulled fire lever. One evening we had a missionary come through. Things were going well and I looked over to the exit door, this is the same door that would swing open. At the top of the door was a small crescent shaped window, and in it I saw a face. The face was red with black stripes on it. At the time the only thing I could compare it to was the face of Darth Maul. Now as it turns out there is rumor the church was built on an old Indian burial ground. If that's the case. I suppose my sighting would make some sense. Other people had experiences too. One friend, I'll call her Jay, was walking past the sanctuary and saw a group of nuns. The problem is our church is not Catholic, we had no nuns. She passed the sanctuary and immediately went back to confirm what she had seen. But the nuns were gone, the sanctuary was empty. The basement of the building was definitely one of the scarier spots. You could find old rooms dug into the foundations. We don't know what they were used for. One day my cousins went down to the basement and opened the door to that area. In the dark were two small yellow eyes. Two of my cousins ran but one stayed and watched. The eyes blinked out, then reappeared twice as large. That was enough to send the last cousin running. My mother even had an experience in the sanctuary. She was in there alone when she heard someone running across the room. But there was no one there. There are so many stories but that would take quite a while to type out. The building is no longer in use. I've snuck in twice now to explore. Nothing happened both times. Maybe whatever was there got bored and left to find someone else to scare. I did find something strange however, an old rifle stock. This was no toy either, very heavy, made of dark wood. Why there was an old rifle stock in a church. I'll leave that up to your imagination, cause I have no clue myself.